Lidl, the German supermarket, or Lidl as we're meant to pronounce it, is more famous for its Black Forest ham. It's Stollen. It's strangely branded baked beans. But now the supermarket has bought out its own brand of eau de toilette for men. Gibellini Export. What does it smell of? Is it delicious? Or has it a whiff of German sausage? Let's find out. So we've come to the London College of Fashion to find out whether the students here at this hotbed of taste and style can tell the difference between the little haute toilette and the remarkably similar looking Hugo Boss version, which costs 10 times the price. First off, we have Libby, who's in her final year at the London College of Fashion, and she's going to tell me whether she prefers wrist B or wrist A. First of all, okay. wrist B, what's it smell like? Um, it's, quite, it's quite a warm smell. It smells quite soapy, a bit too soapy for me. Mm -hmm. And then we've got wrist A. What's it, what's it hitting you with? I don't know, it doesn't smell that different. <laughs> so, Lucy, wrist B or wrist A? Do A first. A. Okay, this have one? a sniff, yep. Nice? It's quite harsh. It's got okay. quite a harsh smell. Hey, Mr B. That's really nice. And our third and final testee is Natasha, who's a farmer's daughter from Devon. <laughs> so wrist B, first of all, just because it's closer to you. What are you getting? What sort of flavours? Mm, it's okay. And here is wrist A. That's much nicer, a bit more subtle, I think. Is it? If you had to choose a scent to spray over the man of your choice, and hey, that could be um, me, what would you go for, B or A? This probably, or this? Probably this one, I so think. That's wrist B. Yeah. So, wrist B was Hugo Boss, okay. 39.99, and wrist A was Gibellini Export from okay. Lidl. <laughs> £3.99. Yeah. Do you marginally prefer the Hugo Boss? Marginally, but only, I think because it had a sort of warmer scent to it, um, whereas the, the second one was a kind of, it didn't stay, it didn't, se didn't seem to last so long. Um, but to be honest, they smelt really similar and I think that kind of says a lot about the perfume. So, B was the one you liked. Uh-huh. It was Hugo Boss, right. 39 99 And A was the one you didn't, didn't like, like it was a bit harsh. Well, that is Gibellini Export. Have you ever heard of this brand? <laughs> Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm quite surprised. I didn't like it, but it wasn't. It didn't. It didn't smell like a supermarket perfume. Well, wrist B. Do you think it's the cheap one? Hugo Boss, thirty nine wow. ninety nine. Wrist A is Export by Gibellini. Export. Amazing. <laughs> Do you want to guess where that comes from? Uh, some terrible perfume store. It in... comes from the supermarket Lidl. Wow, so you can pick it up on your shop? You can, and it's only three ninety nine. Would you consider buying this for a loved one? I might do, but I might put it in a different box. <laughs> so, that's the conclusion of our very scientific smell test. It's 2-1 to Hugo Boss, but I think the Lidl eau de toilette came out very creditably.